In this video, I want to take a look at a factor by grouping example that typically gives students a lot of trouble. Uh, there's a little twist to this example that's a little different than most factor by grouping examples. Let's take a look at it. We're trying to factor 2x cubed plus 10x squared minus 3x minus 15 using the grouping method, which makes a lot of sense because there's four terms. Well, what we would typically do when we do factor by grouping, uh, as you well know, is we'll, we'll group the first two terms. So we'll take the 2x cubed plus 10x squared and we'll group those terms. And then we have minus 3x minus 15. And then we typically group the last two terms, but there's gonna be a small problem in doing that. If I put parentheses around the last two terms, that's actually incorrect. These are actually not equal to one another. And I can see why. If you look at this uh, negative sign right here, if you distributed this negative through the parentheses, if you wanted to get rid of them, it would be minus 3x plus 15, because you see you have a minus a negative. So the thing to remember here is, if you have a negative symbol or a minus sign in the middle, exact middle of your four terms, then when you group the last two terms, you need to change this to a plus. And the reason we change that to a plus, just to be clear, is in anticipation uh, of distributing this minus sign if we wanted to do that. And so we'd have minus 3x minus 15. And so these would be the same, this uh, expression here would be the same as the original expression because we never want to change the meaning of the expression, we just want to change the way that it looks. So that, that's the key that I really wanted to stress in this example, was that if you have a minus sign in the middle of your four terms, when you group the last two terms, you're gonna to have to change the sign. But once that's done, you can uh, proceed and finish as normal. Uh, we'll factor the GCF out of the first set of parentheses. Looks like we have a common factor of two X squared. So if you factor, or you can say undistribute a 2x squared out of these two terms, you'll be left with an x and a five. 2x squared times x would be 2x cubed, and 2x squared times five would be 10x squared. This is kind of like using the distributive property in reverse, is taking uh, common terms out of the polynomial and factoring it out uh, as opposed to distributing it through. All right, and then we have minus, and then the GCF of 3x and 15 would just be a 3. Pull a 3 out, and you'll be left with an x plus 5. Then you look at these two terms here. They both have a common factor of x plus 5. So you factor an x plus 5 out. And then what's remaining from the first giant term and the second giant term? The first giant term, when you pull out an x plus five, you still have a two x squared. And then here's a minus. And when you factor out x plus five from the second term, you're still left with a three. So we've factored this uh, um, degree uh, three polynomial here uh, by grouping, uh, being careful with this middle uh, minus sign here where we were extra careful when we grouped the last two terms. But it is factored, we've created a product of two polynomials, so that's um, definitely what it means to be factored. So just remember when you see an example like this that has a minus sign in the middle, um, make sure that you change the sign in the second set of parentheses. If this had been a plus sign, you wouldn't have had to worry about this issue, you could have just grouped the terms as normal. But with the minus sign, you have to change the sign uh, that's in the middle of your second set of parentheses.